This video is for people who have a given energy system and it just seems to be doing whatever it wants. So for example, you've set it to charge at night and then you've come back later and the charger's gone or it's randomly charging during the day and then, then discharging for some reason at other times of the day. It's almost as if somebody else has taken control of your system. How do you find out if somebody else is controlling this system, perhaps your energy provider, something you've signed up to specifically but maybe forgotten about, uh, and how do you diagnose it? How do you put it back to normal? How do you reset to default? The place we need to start is here, the Give Energy portal. Now, from the people I've spoken to recently, not everybody even knows this exists, but essentially think of it as like a more detailed version of the app that you're probably using on your phone, for example. It's giveenergy.cloud. So that's the web address, giveenergy.cloud. You go there, you log on with the same details that you use for your app, and then you get this. To get to the logs we need, we need to go all the way to the left to show this menu and click where it says my inverter right here that takes us to this page and then from here we just need to find the cog in the top right hand corner when it says remote control so that's just in the top right hand corner click on that as well and that takes us to this page so we don't need any of this until we get all the way to the bottom so scroll all the way down to the bottom until you hit the end there we go so this is the remote control history. This is the logs, if you will, for everything that's done on a Give Energy system. So the fields we need are where it says user. So this field here, that tells you who's done what. And this one, where it says via or via, that tells us where it's come from. Dan from Give Energy Support, that's the user who has changed a few settings, for example, and he's done it via the portal, remote control. So we know where it's come from and who's done it. So this is me, because it says you. And it tells me that I press the play battery button, the quick settings in the app. So if I go to page two, just down at the bottom, you'll see we've got something that effectively would explain what might be going on when somebody else takes control. Now there are schemes out there. This one is with Axel Energy. There are energy providers that have kind of like cash back events, if you will, where they tell your battery to charge at a certain time and then discharge, usually at peak time, and give you rewards for it, like reward schemes, if you will. So that's what we're looking out for, anything that uses the API access. So on the right-hand side here, you can see it says API, inverter settings, Axel Energy. So I've got Axel Energy and they can control my system. This is often what can trip people up. So this may say, your energy provider's name, it might say Axel Energy, whoever has control, and you will have given them control over this, perhaps when you signed up to a certain tariff, perhaps when you signed up to their reward scheme, you'll have put your Give Energy credentials in for your API and essentially given control over to them. And if you use something like Home Assistant, Give TCP, this will come up with the same sort of thing, that API log that we're looking for. As you can see at the bottom, there are pages and pages of, well, API in my case, and where I've changed something in the portal, a scheduled battery calibration. So literally every single change, every click that you do, that Give Energy Support does, that Home Assistant does, that your energy provider does, is recorded here, can't be changed, can't be deleted. So everything is logged. So let's imagine you've looked at this and you can't find anything unusual. Now, if you're like me and you're a bit of a tinkerer, I often change things, I, I play with the system effectively, whether it's in the app or in the portal, and sometimes I put a setting on which has a, a, an unusual effect or something that I didn't expect. Finding that is sometimes quite difficult because you think, well, I've changed so much, which one have I changed? I've accidentally set the maximum discharge rate to zero, I've done that before. Little things like that where essentially you've accidentally clicked something and it's had an unusual effect. How do we just reset to defaults? This is nice and easy. Go all the way to the menu again on the left and click on my inverter. So it's back on this page and we need to go to settings, kind of in the middle, just here. And what we're looking for is the reset to default button. So if you click on that, click submit, it then completely changes everything, puts everything back to defaults. 
So that's eco mode on, maximum charge and discharge rates, and there's no scheduled charging options. So if you click on that, you will have to set up your nighttime charging again, for example. But resetting to back to defaults solves an awful lot of issues because perhaps it's a third party, an API tool that's changed the setting that you were unaware of. Maybe it's something like me where you, where you tinker with things and you've changed something accidentally. Either way, resetting to default often solves lots of issues. If after that point you've reset the defaults, you've checked the logs, and it's still do, doing something unusual, this is where you contact support. There is one more page to check as well. If you think someone has control over it, and when I say someone, I mean an energy provider, not just somebody out there. Uh, and that's if, again, we go to the menu page on the left and go to account settings. On the top right hand corner, you can see where it says manage account security. So click on that. I'm going to now scroll down to connected services. Here are all the links where you've essentially say, yes, I don't mind you controlling my system to, in my case, Axel Energy. On the right hand side of this page here, you can see there is a red bin, so you can revoke access from a company, in this case, my Axel Energy. I'll just do that as a, an example, and it's gone. So under my account security settings, there is nothing there now. If your battery or your system is doing something strange, check the logs, that's the first place to check. Who's doing this? Who, who's telling it to charge or who's turning off eco mode? Sometimes it's home assistant, sometimes it's the energy provider via the, the scheme that you signed up to. So that's where the reset to default button comes in, it's very handy and you're just starting again. Reset to default, set the charge time, is it still working? And most of the time the answer is yes. So again, if you've still got issues at this stage, contact support, Hopefully though, that has solved your problems. So please do subscribe if you could. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.